Hi Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to do a general and then new love if new love comes up. Um, and then we'll get into the connection after. Just remember it's not a personal reading, it's a general reading, okay? So it's whoever needs to hear this message. Let's see, Aries, Aries. What's surrounding energy for Aries right now? Oh, somebody else got that. I think it was Leo. Um, Sag got also a Leo card too. I don't know. Anyways, digital detox. Clean up your digital world. Balance your tech and real life. Disconnect. Regroup. Yeah, disconnect from social media. That's what's standing out here. Um, for some of you. For others of you, maybe you just need to detox um, digitally lay off of you know when you wake up you're on the phone or you know lay off a little um cap what they're saying is not true becoming someone you're not lies bs faking so what i'm getting here is that maybe you need to lay off of the social i don't see that from Mary aries i don't get that vibe from aries maybe you're the one that's looking into social media not everything's not everything on there is true what they're saying is not true whatever you're looking at as social media because i don't feel like it's you putting things into social media that are not true lies bs or faking it maybe you're faking it but i don't i don't get that vibe for some reason maybe you're seeing somebody somebody on social media and you just need to lay off of it because that is the wrong place to even you know get your information from everybody on there i'm sorry to say but most of the time 99 percent of the time you cannot get your information from social media because everybody's on there is faking it <laughs> i'm sorry but um of course you know you have those that don't even care or aren't but you know and i don't i'm not trying to put anybody down we do brag about the good things but that's the thing we're bragging about the good things we want to put the good things spread good vibes out there which i'm guilty of that good vibes you want to post the good vibes. You want to post good things. So that's why whatever you're looking at is not tr the truth. There is something there that you're probably looking at. It's all BS. It's faking it. Somebody here that you're probably even wanting to know of. It's not the place <laughs> to get your info information, okay, on someone. So let's see. Give me more on this digital detox maybe you need needing to back away oh okay it could be about love or someone maybe you're needing to do things right for yourself yeah and focus more on yourself balance your masculine and feminine energies here with the justice and the lovers card you're probably looking up someone or keeping tabs on someone and you're needing to lay off. Look at that. See, two of wands. Maybe go out and explore. Let go of that phone. And I feel like for some of you, you're probably also faking it on there. And you're wanting to bring justice. Well, I don't know why I'm getting this. It's not going to be for everybody. Okay, this is just a side note. You're wanting somebody to see you being in your power, balanced, because you want to make you want to have justice. And this person is keeping tags on tabs on you, or maybe you're not even lying because I don't even get that. So you're probably seeing this person. You know that this person is probably looking at you. Whoever it could be, friend, lover, whoever, but they're seeing you as somebody that is very balanced um is in your power you know making it in life it's not gender specific but that's what i'm getting here okay so it could be a taurus libra gemini strong libra 
could be a um, fire sign or maybe you're seeing this about them that they're in their power happy and everything and you're seeking justice or something and or an apology from someone and it's whatever they're putting is not real okay it could be vice versa okay so let's get into new love hopefully we get new love here for those that want new love or else you can just skip over to the connection okay aries new love give me more give me what's coming towards aries in love okay Ooh, a gift we all like gifts <laughs> outdoors okay i want to show you how much you really mean to me outdoors let's enjoy the outdoors keep it simple and fun so somebody here wants to show you you know i feel like this person wants to express like take you out go go out and have some fun outdoors do something with you maybe even gift you something but i'm getting more of like the gift of time going out here somebody here wants to take you out let's see give me more on this for aries it could be somebody that's very outdoorsy type give me more of this gift for aries i feel like somebody wants to ask you out of course on a date here yep it could be a new fire sign or ooh, or new air sign there is newness here so it is new love or just new energy but i'm getting more could be wow aries i feel like you're focused on new new you're working towards something you want you have three aces in four cards here <laughs> wow i feel like you're entering a new cycle you have offers you have goals you're working towards them i feel like somebody here is gonna come towards you and ask you out gift you something or really wants to start something real they want to work at it work towards something secure stable there is gonna be clear like clarity there there's gonna be passion there's going to be stable, secure um, energy coming through. You could do, You could also be very busy with what you're doing. And this person is going to come through your life. It could be new. It. I feel like it's new. <laughs> new energy coming towards you. It could be even numerous offers here. A new fire sign, air sign, earth sign but somebody here i feel like you have been working towards something that you want something stable secure you know what you want and someone is gonna come along yeah wow i love it okay thank you so much for watching and let's move forward to the connection reading okay if you still want that <laughs> thank you hi aries thank you so much for tuning in let's get started just a quick reminder i said it at the beginning of the, the video but um it's not a personal reading it's a general reading it's not going to resonate with everybody um so yeah that's what i have okay and the roles can be reversed here the goal is to get some insight and advice let's get started for advice spirit guides i mean for aries aries energy in this connection okay devious ways hmm. how does this person see aries spirit guides what don't they see Oh, I got two. Okay. Aries, you holding on to grudges here. Okay, so it's not going to be for everyone. Uh, there is trust issues here. Could be trust issues. Um. Hmm. <laughs> There could be anger issues, grudge, resentment, um, anger. I said that, huh? <laughs> the problem here is that you, 
you want this person to take responsibility or maybe you're not you're not really taking responsibility for what you've done as well there could be some manipulated behavior this is how they are seeing you okay okay don't um take it personal but they they could probably also be thinking that you have you know your own uh, manipulative behavior going on uh, you could be passive aggressive or this is this is how they are you know the energy is out there or you're probably putting excuses of how you acted. Um, there could be also some kind of self-sabotaging. This is how they're seeing you though. But I do feel that you are working on this. You're working on your higher self. You know, you're recognizing your own faults. Uh, you want to become better. But they are seeing you as, you know, they... I'm getting someone here that's seeing you become better, but they still think of you as self-sabotaging, criticizing yourself, or maybe, you know, having those thoughts of um, unhealthy behavior. I'm getting here manipulative behavior, passive aggressive, holding on to grudge. This is, I feel like this person knows this. I don't know why I'm getting that, but let's see. Um, interesting. Um, let's see. What is this person's energy towards Aries spirit guides? Okay. Okay. So, what is an Aries here? They've been going through some lessons. Oh, wow. Okay, what's the issue with them? Wow, they've been going through some lessons here. Fights. So there was been, there's been a lot of arguments between you two. Heated arguments, fights here. Um, you're seeing this person as being... A manipulator as well i don't know why i'm getting that too but don juan is a seducer the player the one that's out there talking to others um to others that don't even know that you exist or others exist here um but what you don't see is that they are actually i don't know if their vibe their vibration or their focus is in love right now we'll look more into it that's what I'm getting with that dance of love. Um, I do see air. I see a lot of air, mm -hmm, water. But I'm getting someone that is in isolation. You might see them as a player, but right now they're in isolation. They're not really. I feel like this person is falling here, falling in love or something like that. Let me grab. I don't know why I'm being called to use this other deck for you guys. I must have forgotten for the other other signs, but oh well. Let's see. Divious. Let's see what we have for Divious. Why is Divious here for Aries? Okay, so someone here, okay, there is toxic here, there is toxic, there was coldness, there was a lot of stress, this person really did put you in a stressful situation, um, something here ended, for some reason, I'm getting that you're trying to change, you're going through this transformation, it almost seems like a dark night of the soul here yeah because this person really put you this i'm getting this person probably also triggered unhealthy behavior triggered anxiety triggered 
um, these dark feelings within you. That's what I'm feeling here. And for some reason, you're going through this transformation, but you could have even went numb. Like, don't try to go there. Like, don't suppress your emotions so much where you don't feel your emotions anymore. Um, because that's what I'm getting with the King of Swords for some reason. Maybe this person really did turn your their back on you and they were the passive aggressor here. And it triggered whenever they would be cold towards you, it would trigger you. And now something here has ended. It's taken a, lo a lot from you to pick yourself up from this. Um, that's interesting. But you still have those grudges. That's why I say... Don't let someone drive you to the to a place where you don't feel your emotions here. That's for someone, not all of you. Give me more of this grudges. Okay. So we have grudges. Yeah. You've been trying to heal from this. You've been trying to take your power away your energy you're still seeing wondering what's been happening with them but you still have that anger resentment there it's like i'm not gonna give you none of your my energy because you don't deserve it kind of thing which you know you you probably have your reasons um give me more of this responsibility oh the three of swords wants to come out Give me more of this responsibilities. I'm sorry for my neighbor's dogs. They're right next to my place. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. Responsibility. I've been told that the other neighbor's dog is in heat. So sorry. <laughs> TMI, but you know, they're dogs. Anyways, responsibility. <sighs> no excuses so somebody here is stuck yeah you want this person to take responsibility because it kind of seems like they left you in a bind i want to say you they left you in your you know their selfishness kind of put you in a place where you couldn't you were just stuck with your feelings um i feel like you often think that maybe this person still has feelings for you but I don't know. I'm also getting somebody here asking themselves, you know, um, if, was I not worth it? What's wrong with me? That kind of thing here. It's interesting. Like you're, you're seeing yourself and, you know, you're trying to learn how to master your emotions. You're trying to, you know, I feel like you... You're trying to get out of this place. Of be feeling stuck with your emotions trying to master your own emotions trying to focus on yourself the more that you focus on yourself Aries I feel like you are not gonna want to take more excuses you know um, you're gonna hold them accountable for what they've done to you because it kind of seems like it took a, a lot from you to g it's taking a lot from you to really um, get out of this place. Why? Because I feel like you are becoming much better. You are focused on becoming better here. But before you were criticizing yourself, you were asking yourself, well, what's wrong with me? You know, am I good enough? Am I not good enough? Um, for them, they probably are saying this you probably have gave off that vibe or probably even told them um you know well what's wrong with me what what is it that i can do what can i change or you know it's nothing is ever wrong with you sometimes we just do not go out some people are not meant to stay there they're they're meant to change us sometimes well actually all the time you know people are meant to come into our life to change something and they're they're there for a purpose um but it's never you give me more of this best self i don't know who i'm talking to it's not gonna be for everyone i'm sorry so 
and you've probably already gone through this because we have your best self here look at that yep you're becoming your best self they're seeing you you're holding off and you're working on you you're becoming the empress the emperor is not gender specific but yep i feel like you are you're becoming better than you were yesterday here you're going through a transformation and they can see this they're actually not even paying attention to others right now okay give me more on this um don juan yep the tables have turned i feel um because now you're gonna be seeing them confused of course they have um other options or this is how you're thinking but they're actually not they're actually not exploring their options they're closing that chapter they're actually going through a harsh lesson themselves i feel like this person has um got their karma or something because i feel like they've been healing they've been learning from what they've done yeah i don't know what they did to you but they it was very harsh and i feel like this person is finally getting like learning from it because nothing you know nothing it's nothing is unbalanced nothing goes unbalanced okay with the universe either something happens in love or maybe you know something happens in their finances but people you know they go through that transit where it's you know karma season i call it karma season because it's a transit that they go through on astrology and bam you get your karma and there's been a lot of shifts lately a lot of things coming out of the darkness and the whole world is going through a transformation right now so let's see give me more of this lesson and just remember whoever you give freely your love and they don't take care of it you know that's not that doesn't go unnoticed you know they don't get love so easily give me more of this lesson okay oh, i'm sorry if i'm talking to a cross watcher but you know we all go through lessons i've been on on both sides of the situation okay so hopefully anyway so we have a lesson here you don't see this but this person is not paying attention to the other they're in isolation here you don't they've gone through a lesson here where they had to really learn about themselves their feelings their hidden feelings their suppressed emotions i feel here with the moon like they're going through this phase um like i said it's a phase a karma season it's a season here because the uh, moon changes phases and with the lessons here i feel I feel like this person also wants to take action towards you because they've learned their lesson give me more of this dance of love see they want clarity they have been thinking a lot about this um about bringing some kind of message or this is something that you don't see or they're thinking here that you don't see from them they've been thinking about communicating both of you are in isolation i feel but i feel like they're barely going through what you've gone through already like you're at the end of it already you're going through this transformation and i feel like they're barely starting for some reason give me more of this isolation oh see i told you look at that this is a six of wands but this person is crying at this um i call it fool <laughs> in this deck the fool does look like that uh, yeah this person is in isolation thinking about it thinking about maybe you know working things out feeling victorious they're in isolation here see and they're at a crossroads maybe also about maybe working things out with you here with the three of pentacles but there is a wedge there 
which we see here and that's what they see in you because this is also creating a wedge um, and they see this line this boundary that they can't really cross so they're feeling a they really are coming to terms of the way that they they were um, fooling around or the way they, because this person is crying and looking at the fool here so I really do feel this is them looking recognizing in isolation here recognizing that they were acting a fool sorry if you're if that's you cross watcher <laughs> okay let's see what they are um wow aries i spent a lot of time on you let's see what are they their thoughts towards aries oh okay opening up see it cl i closed the door before but i'm ready to let you in but now I'm ready to let you in. Regrets. I told you. I regret the things I should have done but never did. Balance. Finding balance between giving and receiving. One more. Okay. One more. Skepticism. Give me time to trust this connection. So they want time. I don't know how much time, but it's up to you here. <laughs> what does this person feel towards Aries? What does this person feel towards Aries? I'm not even going to look at that one. Oh, these are so small. Get on my nerves. Anyways loving see i told you <laughs> they have love for you that's why we have dance of love here anyways let's see what we have here for advice advice for aries spirit guides before we leave okay sorry aries let's see what we have for aries Sex them up and make it hot. Whoa. Everyone has different opinions about sex. How you choose to express that is up to you. But keep in mind that building intimacy is not just having intercourse. Okay. That's crazy because this is for somebody. <laughs> somebody here, if they come towards you, you both need to build intimacy. I could see that because you're probably on you're probably here where you have these anger issues this resentment still holding on to it so it's going to take some time to build that intimacy between you two or you know so that can fade away what you're feeling because i feel like it's really strong on your part that's why they need time to make things balance and open up to you okay so that is what i have i hope that made sense Thank you so much for watching. And I went way over my time here. So let's see. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini, um, Taurus, Libra, Virgo, Taurus again, Scorpio, Leo, um, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Water, Air, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, or just... Um, fire signs in general okay so thank you so much and take care of you bye